from Men's Fitness and I'm here today at Embody Fitness in Bank in central London to begin the second phase of my transformation workout plan. The first few weeks have been fun uh, in terms of the gym stuff. I was mainly doing full body conditioning workouts, whereas now we're going to move on to do body part specific sessions um, and push the weights a bit heavier. We've been through the, the two week what I call a conditioning phase which is total body workouts, generally repeating the same sort of exercises to give Ben an opportunity to get you know, uh, used to the exercises and gradually increase the lifts, as well as have a big impact metabolically so we can burn lots of fat at the same time. Alongside the training, I've been on a new diet for the last two weeks that's involved basically eating no carbs and having a lot of meat, up to about a kilo of meat a day, served purely with either green vegetables or nuts, which obviously is quite extreme and quite different to what I've been used to but um, my weight's been coming down very fast uh, and I feel great for it. So we're gonna go into the gym and get started with the new training. Now we're moving into just gradually breaking up the muscle groups a little bit. So we're gonna do two workouts which we alternate. And today's workout, we started with uh, dumbbell semi-supinated shoulder presses. I'm be a bit more powerful on these. You're getting your warm-ups going. Prepare yourself for some heavier stuff. And we've paired that up with a sled drag. A sled drag is a great way to work the legs and still get the big bang for the buck as far as fat loss goes. We've used the farmer's walks, um, big total body exercise again. We get a lot of work through the through the traps, through the spinal erectors, through the legs. See, get that chest high, come on, keep driving. Um, we've also added chains as one area that Ben is particularly weak is in his scapular retractors. So it really forces the body to stay upright and to use the muscles in that uh, mid upper back. We've paired that exercise with the Viking press, so he's pretty tired at this point. A big metabolic effect and again just driving more work through the shoulders. And for the third pair we've used the dumbbell lateral raise and the dumbbell seated curl. Uh, dumbbell seated curl Ben's been doing already so we're just going to stay with that now as it's a great exercise to build the, build the arms. So we want to continue to get him stronger at that at this stage. We've then used the lateral raise which is more of a specific exercise for the shoulders, for the medial portion particularly. Again, squeeze. Okay, rest there. Uh, final superset, uh, we've just brought in a little bit of additional arm work for the biceps. Scott Curl with the easy bar. Uh, three sets, again just a little bit more overload and a slightly varied move. And we've paired that up with a seated face pull. Again, just working on the scapular retractors, mid trapezius, rhomboids, which is a particular weakness for them. So I've just finished the workout. Um, it was tough. <laughs> Instead of the workouts we've been doing before, where it's full body conditioning. Uh, this was more specific to shoulders and biceps with a little bit of legs conditioning work thrown in as well. Um, it was hard, you could definitely feel it, spending more time working on specific muscles. Second superset was definitely the hardest. Um, I did a farmer's walk with a chain around my neck followed straight away by the Viking press. Felt a little bit dizzy by the end of that, but again, I could feel it really working, especially through the shoulders towards the end of the set. I'm pretty exhausted, but yeah, made it through. And yeah, feeling really good. So we've been through uh, Ben's skin folds again and we've seen a 3% body fat drop already just in two weeks. Um, very typically some big changes around the stomach, you've seen around the umbilical and the, the love handle area change specifically. The abs are coming through already which is visible, um, so the next two weeks is going to be very interesting. <laughs>